morning <laughs> it's not a great morning for me to be honest um but this is going to be a what i eat in a day yeah and i'm actually thinking of making banana oatmeal pancakes for breakfast because i need something that's just gonna make me happy and smile and everything because i'm not having the best morning um and if i am looking crusty do not judge me okay do not judge me i am tired i didn't sleep very well and my voice is doing all sorts of kind like funny messed up things so yeah i'm gonna yeah make breakfast <laughs> So every morning I drink this, like at least two of these, um, water. I added hot water to this because it's winter right now, so our cold water is extra cold. So I try to get through two of these before, give or take 11 o'clock. Yeah, I drink a lot of water, you guys know this, but um, as i have said i am going to do the banana oatmeal uh pancakes <laughs> it's the first time i'm doing them um but yeah i really want something nice and sweet to eat but also healthy at the same time for breakfast so that's what we're gonna do now let me show you everything that you're gonna need all right so you're gonna need two bananas these are small bananas so you can have two if you've got the large ones you can use one you're gonna need two eggs a teaspoon of cinnamon and some uh, oats that is a third of a cup of oats that has been blended down finely and we're gonna add all of that into this mix right now And then we are going to add the cinnamon and you need a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's pretty much um, the mix. <laughs> we are going to add about one quarter of the mix. Whoops. Into a little skillet. And we're going to let this cook for about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so there they are. This one is perfect. A complete fail. Oh, we're gonna eat it anyway it's not that hard is it i don't know but to make things a little bit nicer we are gonna add some little nibs on top so we've got the honey here obviously and then we've got the bananas and these are a mix of chalk chips and cacao nibs and almond flakes roasted almond flakes so let's make this plate look pretty because this <laughs> I'm already eating because I needed a little bit of a pick-me-up and this is a pick-me-up okay it's so good so you guys won't believe what time of day it is right now it's like four o'clock and I haven't eaten anything whatsoever I went out to get some things for next week but I literally haven't touched food. Like I've only been taking in this. I actually popped into, um, I'm gonna make something to eat, I promise. I actually popped into Westpac and got these. They're sort of like small mason jar type of, you know, containers. And the reason why I got them is because these, <laughs> this, is because this box holds all my seeds so these are like sesame seeds chia seeds um whatever all the types of seeds that i have with my food or with my smoothies or with my drinks and i figured that it would be nice to actually put them in these kinds of jars so 
So there you have it. We got the choc chip nibs there, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, acai powder, cacao nibs, very different to this. Very, very different. These are not sweet. This is cacao and chia seeds. So we've got everything in there and I'm going to label them quickly and I'll show you how it looks. When I So I'm currently preparing dinner as you can see so I'm just gonna chop these up into smaller pieces because I want to sort of pan saute them on here So I've chopped up my vegetables as you can see and I'm adding some baby broccoli to the mix I prefer baby bro bro I can't talk. I prefer baby broccoli We are just immediately going to add our veggies of course gonna add the usuals which is some Himalayan salt and black pepper seasoning of course a little bit of a kick I am going to add what is that some Cajun spice from Ina Parman, Ina Parman's kitchen. I'm gonna add that as well. Of course, you're gonna need, I'm gonna use this, which is spice for rice, but I'm gonna use it as spice for quinoa, okay? <laughs> We're gonna add the quinoa into the pot, into the quinoa. I'm then gonna add, as you can see, the pot is steaming up. I'm gonna add my spice for rice. I literally just eyeball this one and see how much I need. Then we are gonna add some water to the quinoa. There we go. And then just stir it to a higher heat so that you bring it to a boil. And then as soon as it stops, it starts boiling, then you're gonna reduce the heat to a medium low heat. That's how you cook quinoa, guys. And here we go. The quinoa is ready. I'm gonna just put down the heat. That's what it looks like. Really All right. Good. So it's about that time. We are plating up. I'm gonna start with the quinoa. That is my quinoa bowl. My battery is about to die, but it's looking all sorts of fresh. Looks like a really big bowl, but it really isn't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to go because my battery is flashing. I've been using this the whole day. So yeah, I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.